Hello, welcome back to the channel. Delighted to see you. So I'm going to talk about Glasgow Military Talks today, which is a project I've had on the go for, uh, for three years now, 2019. Bit of background. So I took part in the great game Waterloo replayed, the massive uh, recreation of Battle Waterloo. 100 players, 24,000 figures on the table, a brilliant venue. And there's some videos about that on the channel. Uh, best wargaming experience I've ever had. Organised by Tony Pollard, who's a professor of battlefield archaeology at the University of Glasgow. Now, one of the things he did beforehand was on the Thursday, he had a lecture theatre and he put on, I think it was eight different historical talks um, surrounding the Battle of Waterloo. So you had stuff like um, Sergeant Ewart and the Taking of the Eagle, how the battle was commemorated after the, after the event. We had um the rifles showing off a rifle and musket talking about diff different things with that a load of other ones actually it's worth pointing out that the charity is a veterans charity um what they uncovered so it's uh, veterans go and help out with archaeology at the site so one of the ones that actually was tony did himself was looking at the archaeology archaeo archaeology archaeology the <laughs> <laughs> that that they'd been found at Hougamon and working out when they found uh, musket balls, how far the French had actually penetrated into the Hougamon complex, as an example. And it'd been ages since I'd been in a lecture theatre and I really enjoyed the day and I thought, well, it'd be really good if we could do more stuff like this. So I had the idea in 2019 of getting like a pub function room and getting some people that knew their stuff to come down and maybe do half an hour's talks on the stuff that really interests them. It's 2019, as I'm starting to get ready and uh, launch this in uh, the new year 2020, obviously the pandemic happened, lockdown happened, and we couldn't go ahead with it. I think I've actually done a bit of video about this talking about it earlier. So anyway, roll on a few years, and we get now, and you might see in the other video where I talk, I'm talking about the ACVC called Alan Clark's Veteran Craftsman in Glasgow, which is a charity set up for uh, veterans in Glasgow, and it's doing arts and crafts. So you might have seen uh, Models for Heroes, so uh, crafts <clears throat> and model making. So part of that is it, but it's also got woodworking, leatherworking, uh, pyrography, uh, pottery, art, uh, in a like a light industrial unit in Glasgow, awesome place to visit. And, and my involvement with that came in from model making, and I've been helping out a bit and, and doing it and using the facilities and stuff. And we've set up a war games club there. And chat to Alan, this is the perfect sort of place to do this. The military history talks, obviously, with veterans, is there interest in military history there as well? It's a venue, and we can also do a bit of fundraising. You know, times are going to be hard, you know, cost of living crisis and stuff, and charities especially um, are really struggling. My sister runs a mental health charity back home in County Durham called the Hub of Wishes. And uh, yeah, the same, same thing is true. It's, it's a small sort of bottom-up charity rather than these big top-down organisations. I, I like bottom-up charities. And uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. So part of the thing is people can come donate to the charity as well. And we've got our first one, so this video is talking about that. So if you're around in Glasgow on this Monday, the 6th of February, 2023, at the ACVC, Alan Clark's Veterans Craftsman Hub, uh, Moor Park Industrial Unit, uh, just near Ibrox, so it's dead easy to get to, either from the tube station or the motorway. And kick off about half past seven. The first evening, I've got three speakers lined up. So I'm going to be doing uh, some talks. Now, I am degree level uh, history uh, educated. I didn't finish my degree. A bit of backstory. Um, um, if you looked at my school report, it basically says he's a bright lad but a lazy speller. So GCSEs did quite well. Um, A levels and degree level. I'm starting to engage with essays and stuff. I really struggled. Now, later on in life, my daughter's been diagnosed with dyslexia and probably has got, I'm scoring very high on the same stuff since she has. So probably has had that to deal with and it's not me off sort of academics. But it doesn't mean that I'm not 
into history, could talk about history, research history, and I'm a, a big, broad generalist of history, and I pull a lot of different threads and uh, disciplines together. So I know of my like, source bias and uh, looking at historical facts and, 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 and sifting through the, the, the tools of being a historian. So I'm going to be doing some stuff, more as a compare, uh, I'm going to be talking about ancient logistics. Then I've got uh, Sigurd, who had, runs the uh, Gear and Graith, um, it's a YouTube, YouTube channel, so he's a experimental archaeologist, um, professional history historian, he does like school visits, history talks, creates uh, dark, angel, dark angels, dark ages, um, artifacts that he sells at a market to be the other market. So he's going to come along and talk about some dark, something to do with dark ages conflict. Got another guy called Stuart who's been living history World War One for oh, as long as I've known him. He's got all his kits, so he's going to be talking about that. In fact, um, talk about Tony Pollard and how everything's interconnected. They built a trench system in Pollock Park, and actually, parts of my shed <laughs> got sent down so they can make war. So, Stuart kind of worked out that and he did his speeches and stuff there so that's the first three we've got so we've got some sort of ancient history we've got some dark angel dark ages stuff and then we've got world war one stuff um talking about yeah should be a good night a worthy cause who knows where it's going to go what i want to do is have like set a template of what we're doing and then people who have interest specialities want to share uh, get up and do it. Who knows? Maybe he's uh, encouraged some of the veterans to do some public speaking. It doesn't have to be half an hour. It might be shorter. Who knows what it's going to end up like um, and give people confidence to get up and talk about stuff. So, yeah, so that's going to be happening. One of the things I'll be doing, hopefully, is recording the videos of that. I don't have unlimited sort of storage space. So I might not get, like, my stuff filmed, but I'll, I'll film... The other two guys but then i can deliver like like this it, you know i can deliver here and, and upload it that's not a problem so that'll be a big part of the charity of uh, the the video output the other thing we've got planned is like once a quarter maybe it's like a military quiz night a charity bit of fundraiser bit of fun as well so yeah it should be should be a lot of fun and i'm really looking forward to sort of getting out seeing people and uh, doing and be just involved with stuff uh, this year um, and i think it's going to be a good year i look forward to sharing it with you so anyway you have a great day and uh, i'll see you in the next video right bye bye